Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about shopping cart using database. The shopping cart we were using till now was using session. Now let's add the database table uh, for this shopping cart for storing the cart item for every user individually. Okay, so for that, first of all, uh, let's create the migration for shopping cart. So switch to the command prompt and uh, here let's execute the command php artisan vendor colon publish a space dash dash provider is equal to double double quote glot mans slash shopping cart slash shopping cart service provider service provider okay then a space dash dash tag is equal to migrations okay the command is php artisan vendor colon publish dash dash provider is equal to glodmans uh, slash shopping cart slash shopping cart service provider space dash dash tag is equal to migrations okay now press enter all right migration created now switch to the project and uh, let's check this migration so just go inside the database directory then migration and here inside the migration directory you can see here the create shopping cart table migration okay and here these columns are created first column is identifier second is instance and third is content okay all right now let's migrate this migration so switch to the command prompt and uh, just type here the command for migrating the migration php artisan migrate okay now press enter all right migration done now run the application so write here php artisan serve all right now switch to the project and now let's close this now let's store the cart item uh, into the table so for that first of all let's open the shop uh, component class file so just go inside the app directory then http liveware and uh, then uh, from the liveware directory let's open this one shop component.php file okay and uh, inside this file uh, inside this render method uh, just before the return this returning this view just right here first of all uh, let's check here the user is authenticated or not okay so for that uh, just add here the if condition and inside this let's check here both colon colon uh, check method okay if user is authenticated then right here card okay and also import here the already imported here use cart okay so right here cart colon colon instance and uh, instance name uh, which is this one cart okay so right here cart and now call here the store function okay for storing the cart item into the database table okay and uh, inside this uh, store uh, method just pass here one unique identifier okay so here i'm just going to pass here user email id okay so for that just write here auth colon colon user then arrow email all right now save this file now let's open the cart component class file and uh, here same thing uh, just go inside the render method and uh, here is the render method okay and after this just uh, write here if condition if auth colon colon check okay and uh, check here if user is authenticated then uh, just write here the cart colon colon instance and pass here the instance name cart and now call the store method and just pass here the unique identifier okay which is email id of user 
so right here auth colon colon user arrow email okay now save this file now let's restore the shopping cart after user login okay so for that just go inside the home component class file so let's open this one home component dot php file and uh, inside the render method uh, after this do same thing uh, first check here the user authenticated or not okay so right here if auth all right then colon colon uh, check and now if uh, user authenticated then just write here the card colon colon instance and uh, add here the instance name which is card and now call here the uh, method restore okay restore and uh, inside this restore method just pass here the identifier which is user email id okay so right here auth colon colon user arrow email all right and also import here the card so right here use card okay now save this file now everything is done okay so now let's check check this okay so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now let's log in with user credentials so click on login and here just enter the user email id which is user at the rate user.com and now click on login okay now let's add some uh, product to the cart so go to the shop page and here uh, just click click here add to cart one item added now let's add more item okay add this and one more okay you can see here the inside the user account you can see here there are three items added inside the card okay now let's log out so click on log out and you can see here after log out cart is empty now let's uh, try to log in again so right here user at the rate user.com and password click on login and here you can see three item in cart okay now let's try to add uh, uh, login with uh, different user account okay so log out and uh, click on login add here the different username which is user2 login and this time you can see here the cart empty now let's add some product and uh, here this time add this one one more product this one okay added now let's log out now let's log in with the uh, first user credential okay so just write here the user at the rate user.com and uh, here you can see inside the first user card uh, there are three items in cart okay and if i log in with uh, another user account uh, user credential let's try to the user user 2 okay and uh, here you can see inside the cart there are two item okay so in this way you can create shopping cart using database so that uh, that's all about shopping cart using database so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching